Hey, good afternoon. I hope you're all doing splendid. All right, on our, uh, on our Facebook feed here, we have this beautiful quote. What does your anxiety do? It does not empty tomorrow of its sorrow, but it empties today of its strength. It does not make you escape the evil. It makes you unfit to cope with it if it comes. Raymond Kramer, man. Thank you, Raymond Kramer. So let's talk about this for a minute. When you feel anxiety take over and we're freaking out about the what ifs, what if COVID-19 stays for 35 years? You know, what if, my, what if she leaves me? What if uh, my business doesn't work out? What if I don't have retirement money? Whatever. Do you feel strong or weak? Actually weak. Anxiety in those mood states, they freeze us, and then we lose our energy. We lose our ability to feel strong and good. When I have courage and confidence, it fills me up with energy. So good point. Thank you. Nor does it empty today of sorrow. No, no. Like if I'm having pain and difficulty, anxiety about it staying certainly doesn't help my sorrow go away. And what about escaping evil? You can't handle it. You can't handle it when it comes and you're overwhelmed. Oh my God, then the anxiety becomes catastrophic and panic attack sets in. So, great. I mean, you're probably thinking, yeah, I know that. Of course, I've experienced that many times. Okay, great. So, not great, but what are we going to do about it? How do we get unhinged from anxiety? I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, one of my spiritual mentors, Rabbi Shalom Arish, may he be blessed, and be able to continue his work of spreading spiritual awareness and faith and self-confidence in people all over the globe. He teaches the following idea, if I got it right. What's good leads to good, and what's bad leads to bad. And you're thinking, well, that's too simple. But it's so, it's like a game changer if you really think about it deeply. How so? Okay, here we go. I have this anxiety that feels kind of real. It seems kind of real. It's kind of logical. But where does it lead? It seems good and logical, like not good that I enjoy it, but it's accurate. Hey, man, who wants to be in a delusion? That's optimistic. Let's be in reality, even if it's pessimistic. Ah, but where does it lead? Bad. Zap strength, sorrow, freaking out, can't be present, spinning. Okay. Ah, uh, something good leads to good. So if I think, I don't know how I'm going to handle it, but I will get through. I don't know what the future holds, but somehow it'll work out. It'll all be well. So even though there's a lot of negativity in some ways in that thought, overwhelm and unknown it leads to good because it leads to peace and groundedness truth leads to groundedness and false ideas lead to shakiness so that's uh it so what's one tool you can take the usefulness tool i like this getting away from truthfulness and getting into usefulness ask yourself a question when you have an anxiety okay we're talking about anxieties below five out of 10 on a 10 point scale. This will not work for anxieties much stronger. That requires something different beyond the scope of this little sharing session. But if it's low, it's three, four, and five. It's bugging you, but you can function, you can work, but it's in the back of your mind, it keeps getting you. You can look it straight in the face and say, is this thought useful to me? Nine, time on a, nine times out of 10, no, not useful at all. Is this thought useful to me? Now, I take it like a hammer and repeat it 10 times. Is this thought about what if my health useful to me? No. And really answer it with sincerity. Like, like really ask the question. Don't just make it rote. Is it useful to me? Well, maybe a little bit because I'll, I'll, wa I'll, wash, I'll watch my health. I'll go to the doctor. Okay, a little bit it's useful. What about the other 80%? No, I wish I wouldn't think about it. Is it useful? No. Is it useful? No. Burn it into your mind because that which doesn't seem useful and significant is much easier to let go. And that part that seems useful, do it. All right. So that which is good leads to good. Thank you, Rabbi Arish. That which is bad leads to bad. Have a beautiful and uplifting weekend.